I think she's aiming this one just a little bit on the right side here, just going to let the wind help this one into the hole. Yeah. Well, even though it's a par putt, seeing that one drop. Nelly is at the first of a couple in the next three holes, the sixth. Really heavily into the wind this hole. Doesn't look to be given much break on this putt. Okay. Tom mentioned it. She did roll in the par putt from five or six feet at five. Rolls in the short one for birdie at six. From a golfing family, your sister August played at Purdue, I know. Tell us about growing up here in Florida playing golf. Oh, yeah. Um, I definitely got started because of my sister and my dad. I was always yeah. the younger sibling just tagging along everywhere. But oh, um, no. I happened to really find my love for the game. There's not an awful lot of vegetation to stop the wind here. For par. She was aimed right of that hole the entire way. That is going to sting. You know, into the wind, it's almost a three club wind, and downwind, you might get a, a club and a half, maybe. But just because the wind will knock it out the air. She's birdied this hole the first two rounds. And that gives her a chance for another birdie here. And that will settle things down a little bit for Nelly. And yeah, Nelly with the birdie putt. Nelly lives about 40 minutes away from here. Her parents only about 15 minutes away. And she didn't play this golf course. Certainly making putting difficult, but you have to find something to hang your hat on. I think she needs to just be a little bit more positive with her putts. The last few have just come up with a little weak for speed. I think she needs to be more positive yeah. with her body language. She needs to really rely on Jason here. Come back a little. Maybe. Yeah, that's not a bad leave. To be a little bit tentative with that putt. Has uh, only been bird watching today, not bird making. Only one of them. This at 10. Even there, just that shake of the head, it's it's just not the positive looking Nelly. And I understand she hasn't played as well as she would have liked today, but uh, you know, that body language says a lot. To get it all the way back to that whole location. If you pull it slightly left, you're going to run through into that left bunker. Oh, is this going to stay? Yeah, I think it is. To try and get some of the confidence back with this putter. Yeah, good putt, now good throw. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. There's still a long way to go here. If she can make a few birdies. And... On the tee at the 12th, one off the lead, Nelly Corda. Oh, this one is back into the wind. And it's a position hole because the water does cut in down the right side. Yeah. Nelly for birdie at 12. And that was from as good a spot as any. Confused that that one went to the right there, Karen. How much do you think those early misses may have impacted her today? Well, I I think any every day, every day that you play, the first couple holes are important. I, I think the very first putt that you hit on a day is important. It can start your day off on the right foot or potentially the wrong foot. Back on the tee at the 13th. And with the wind off the left. And this one's fighting that wind on a draw. It's going to stay in the middle of the fairway. Beautiful tee shot. The 127 is the actual total, but they're going to play it for about five yards more than that. Yeah, good shot. 
Maybe this will be the little catalyst that Nelly needs. About as good as it gets here, Karen, for a birdie. It really is. Up the hill. The wind should be on her back. But it's a shot of green and she takes advantage. Yeah, so Nelly finally bounces back to level par for the day, maybe. Big chunk of the hole at 14. This is the comebacker for par. It's only four on and three from the left. So really tucked tight in there. It's kind of the whole location. You want a good full number into just like that so you can get as much stop as possible. And it seems like the struggles are a little less harsh, but this is a tough part. Got a lot of break to it. She had it. She just needed a fraction more pace. Difficult putt, as you say. No trouble. And Nelly will stay at 10 under par, leading the way. Still like everybody else, having to get the ball in the hole. Held, feels like she's held. turned the corner. Yeah, I agree. She's held it together. Quite comfortably level with that bunker. At least she has done Wayne. the previous couple of days. There's still a little bit of helping wind. Not as much trundle there. That didn't really run. Nelly Corda, third at the par 5, 17th. She's on an upslope, but she's got to land it on a downslope on the green and let it release to the hole. It's releasing. It's in. <laughs> Nelly Corda, an eagle three at seven. And just textbook here. <laughs> you can hear the crowd really, really trying to urge her on, lift her up, carry her forward. Jason's so excited too. Left bunker, a little bit of helping wind here. Yeah, good swing now. Yeah, it's a good angle into that flag. It's very difficult to zero in on exactly where the flag is on the greens because of the spectators behind and the other flags. It's perched up on that left side. And uh, came out the other end. This putt's going to break a little to the right off that slope. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Yeah. For a four-shot lead, why not? Finishing with a flourish, Eagle Birdie. And it's Nelly by four. I mean, just a fabulous finish for Nelly. She can smile. Look, shake your head. What a crazy game. That we can repeat. You know, you'd have to think that obviously we know that she's comfortable around this golf course, but she'll be feeling some nerves out there tomorrow because we know how badly she wants it. But I mean, just because you're nervous doesn't mean you can't play some of the best golf of your life. And I do think having Megan in the pairing tomorrow will be helpful. Granted, Megan's playing some great golf herself. Yes. And the chasers will have nothing to lose. All eyes will be on Nelly tomorrow. But what what an exclamation point on the round today here, 17.